Possible sighting of a man on the run continues the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office's search for a fugitive. News 12's Dorothy Sherman has the details in tonight's top local story. A Harrison woman spots a man in her yard and then finds out he could be one of Hamilton County's top 12 most wanted fugitives. Tuesday afternoon down Greenwood Road, Gina McDaniel was at her home on her treadmill when something unexpected happened. My dog must have sent something and came running around the side of the house and she just stood right by the windows where my treadmill was and um, started barking. McDaniel says at first she thought her Doberman Reese was barking at a deer, but then she says she saw a man standing in her driveway in her backyard. First, I was a little startled, of course, because you don't expect to see someone coming out of your woods in the backyard, but um, I started to go out to the door and I thought, no, let me just stay right here. And I asked who he was, and then I knew something was not right. He was not supposed to be where he was. She says she asked him to leave and eventually he did. And while he was leaving, she was able to snap a photo of him. It was that picture that helped her realize that the man in her yard may have been Steve Randall Travis. He's a man wanted on multiple criminal charges. The sheriff's office posted on Facebook that Travis had been spotted over the weekend in Birchwood and shared a picture. A picture of a man that looks very similar to the one McDaniel took. She says she could contacted the sheriff's office after a friend sent her a picture shared on Facebook of Travis. When she sent me the picture, I instantly knew it was the same man that was in my yard yesterday. I hope that, she, you know, she deterred him enough that he won't be back in this area, but I just want people to be aware of what's going on and just keep an eye out for him. If you think you may have seen Travis or you think you know where he is, the sheriff's office is asking that you contact your local law enforcement agency. In Hamilton County, Dorothy Sherman, News 12 Now.